So this is Armour 3 Vindicta. I decided I'd sort this now instead of exploring a bit more of Old Man, just because it's, you know, quite highly requested, and I was very much looking forward to playing more of this mission anyway. So we're going to go through either a full playthrough of this, or as far as I can take this playthrough before it becomes a bit unwieldy for me to do on my own. So the main differences between this and my previous gameplay, which you might have seen, is that I'm not going to be using RHS. I just decided I didn't particularly want to use RHS this time around. So I've set the game up so that I'm playing it against CSAT, who are the military force on the island of Altus, and the standard military police as well. I was asked if I could do like a complete setup guide for this, but honestly, it's ridiculously simple, so I'll just go through it quickly now. Basically, you want to download the mission file, ACE, and the community-based add-ons pack for Armour 3. I'll link all of those in the description. Have them all installed in your Armour 3 launcher, make sure they're all loaded. Then, get into the game, got a multiplayer, server browser, host game, Start a game on LAN, and then pick Vindicta out of the pile, and you've got it, it's there. Follow the on-screen instructions, and you're in. It's literally that simple. So, the game has spawned me in down here in Ferris. So I want to have a look for a decent place to start. We're off just in this little corner down here. Ideally, I'd want to pick like a... Sort of an unused military location to use as a base. Maybe up here? I don't think that's military though. And it's very close to this uh, air base. I could go a bit north. Maybe start up here where this radio tower is. That might be a decent spot. Well, it's not a radio tower, is it? That'd be a power pylon. Either way, could be good. It'll give us some protection from aircraft if we've got these power lines above us. So I'm going to try and make a point of explaining everything that I'm doing, to begin with. Just for anybody else who wants to play along who's just starting up in the mission. I am going to hold off on making any kind of guide for this mission until we know mechanically what's staying the same, given that it is in quite early alpha. And again, like I said, it's in early alpha, so don't expect everything to work perfectly. And expect plenty of things to change. There's a guy that's been arrested over there. That'll happen if, uh, they do anything illegal. Like, the military police will just come and grab them. But I can't be seen by any enemies as seen by the wanted thing at the top of the screen, so... Let's just free this guy. There we go. So, he's our friend now. Brilliant. Anyway, the reason I came over here was so I could steal this thing. Oh, he gave us information about an outpost? Up here. Okay. So what we've got in here, there's some GPS in here. Some first aid kits. Which will turn into ace medical supplies when I pick them up, because of course we're using ace. I don't think the military police have uh, turned up here. Are they going to arrest this guy again? No, okay. No, he's just going to shoot him at point blank range and miss consistently. Well, that was quite the turn of events. They're really just firing off shots and sounded the city's alarm for one guy that didn't even have a gun. Well, they got their retaliation in the form of a suicide bomber. Either way, the first step in any Vindicta playthrough for me is raiding the police station. They have supplies in there which you're going to need and there's another mine there. Um... 
What is wrong with these people? Okay, I'm not hurt. But that affected my vision quite badly. Okay, well, we'll revert now for some reason, so... First kill of the blether. Is there anyone else in here? No. Okay, now I should be able to move this? No, it won't let me drag it. I can drag this one. Too heavy. So we need to empty some of the stuff out of here. Alright, we won't bother with that just now, but the things we need. These construction resources here. These are the things we're taking. Probably want to back the, uh... Vehicle up into the building. Oh shit, the military's here. Oh, they don't actually care that I'm, uh... You know... Killing people anymore. Alright, just drop that into there. They're gonna go run off and shoot civilians. Guess I can go steal more building supplies while they do that. It would be great to be able to steal the boxes full of equipment here. Though unfortunately, they're much too heavy to carry. As long as I get these building supplies though, that's absolutely fine. So I'm going to drop everything I've got into the vehicle here. Oh, no, I'm taking fire from the military now. Where's that pistol? There it is. Yeah, I didn't see that going any other way. At least they'll stop shooting at me now and I can respawn back down here. In this weird tower that I'm probably going to die trying to get back out of. Oh no, that was surprisingly okay. Oh, and they've set another explosive. Nice. Is my body around here? It is. I'm going to take my back here. And do what I was going to do before. I'm going to fill up on a couple weapons. And some ammo, just to get me started. So I'm going to take some P90s. So I'm going to fit six P90s. Okay, I'll fill my bag once more and then I'll get out of here and start actually explaining what I'm supposed to be doing. Because this town kicked into anarchy far earlier than it should have. Alright then. Just gonna drop my bag into the vehicle there. And away we go. So I was going to head... Was it... Yeah, it was there. My marker's still there. Alright. Four kilometers away. Alright, well that was far more hectic than I'm used to starting out in this mission. Basically, the premise of this whole thing is that it's similar to anti-Stasi, in that you're basically just, you know, doing the whole guerrilla warfare thing, taking over the entire island. Though again, similar to anti-Stasi, it's focused a lot more on the military side of things. So we wouldn't have a case of me, like, causing that town to go into unrest like I did the than taking over the town itself. The part of that town we'd be able to capture would be the police station, since that's the military structure in that area. As you saw, the military responded to any kind of threat in the area, the threat this time being unarmed civilians. And you basically just have to kill every enemy around the police station to be able to take it over. You do the same thing to outposts, and ultimately air bases, which will then stop the enemy bringing in reinforcements. And that's how you win this mission, capturing all the air bases, so that the enemy can't be reinforced any further. And it's dynamic in that the reinforcements actually come from the air bases. They're simulated, so they spawn a couple kilometers away. But everything does come from an air base, ultimately. So you could go there and blow up their vehicles and they'd have to spawn in on foot. 
So what I did there with stealing those construction supplies is what I think is the ideal start to the mission. You really will want to have a base of operations to work around to begin with. That will allow you to start recruiting soldiers. And a big part of this mission, with me playing solo, is going to be the RTS mechanics that the game has. And I was looking at my other monitor, don't judge me. Because of course it's going to be a lot more difficult to uh, actually take anything over in this mission because of the way the reinforcements work. You don't know which direction they're coming from. They will come constantly until you capture the area in question. Well, particularly when it comes to towns, the police force is technically unlimited. So you're going to need extra units to help you capture the towns. Maybe we should take this compound instead. Thinking about the fencing. It's not really going to help. But at least we've got a house on this side, right? I'll go check what's on the other side, but either way, them ha having the radio towers and those radio shacks is going to save me a lot in terms of construction components. I know that one's got a guard post. We're taking that one. Assuming it's not already occupied, that is. And I'm pretty close to it, and it's not appearing as a map marker. Oh, yep, now it is. So... These map markers tell you pretty much everything you need to know about... Well, everything. On the map. So I can see that this is an outpost. It doesn't have a side at the moment, so the side is unknown. Or at least it'll tell me what side it is when I discover which faction's camped here. You see at the top I'm a wanted bar as well, it's counted as a military area. Well, this is actually a really terrible position. And it doesn't have... one of the radio towers either, so we're gonna go back down the hill and take the other part. Though this is a concern... for our base, because the AI commander for the enemy can take this position. Which means they could just become our next door neighbours in that outpost, so we'd need to pick that up as ours anyway, so they can't do that. And hopefully this is sufficiently far enough away for the time being. Oh, nice. So I ran into that wall and I'm completely fine, but I hit that little pebble there that this vehicle could absolutely drive over. And I start bleeding out of my arse. Still bleeding? Really? Let's try a different kind of bandage. I don't like this new ass medical system. Okay, am I still bleeding? No, I'm fine. Okay, good. Now then, I want to take my bag. Let's empty out all these mags. Because I need to fill it with these construction resources. Alright, now I've got 30 construction resources on me. I'm going to go to the U menu, which is... The key this menu is bound to, enter strategic, and I'm going to create an outpost here. I'm going to call this one base. And then create. So that drops that there. This becomes my base. This is our home now. Right here, so you can see that it's controlled by, well it says west, but it's controlled by ours. And that's the area of influence the base has. So, let's take all these construction resources. And the first thing I'm going to build is going to be a supply box. So if I open build menu from this location, I can go into storage. And I'm going to put down one of the... Let's put down one of the AAF boxes. And that's going to go... It's going to go right here. So I press tab to pick that up into my arms, and then tab to drop it there. I don't have resources. Oh, I need to open the uh, build menu from my inventory. That'd make more sense. And put that down. Very good, so this is now my... Inventory for the base. I can do external inventory to Arsenal, then select the cameras. 
So now if I go into my arsenal here, I should have everything out in the back of that vehicle. Yeah, in the box. Got the P90s. And you can see I've got 30 construction resources up at the top now too. Okay, following on from last session, I basically just drove around in circles for a bit, going between towns looking for more police stations to steal supplies from. So instead of just, you know, finishing up the video driving around in circles, I think I'm instead going to come back to, well, this is the town that I started in. And my goal now is going to be to steal some kind of armed vehicle. Of course, if I can take any more supplies from the police station, even better. Though weirdly enough, the police station doesn't seem to have spawned in properly. Oh, now it has. Okay. Yeah, there's a guy in here. Perfect. So just introduce him to his maker. And that should now, I believe, spawn a military response. Take his tactical tablet. These are the ones I mentioned that uh, give you radio crypto keys, but as you can see, only military tablets. So as you can see, these boxes haven't refilled with more supplies. So the whole mission is very persistent with that type of thing. So we do just need to find somebody else to shoot now. Apparently, on the road up that way. Yeah, I see him. Oh? Where did that come from? In there? Oh, they probably shot me through the damn fence, didn't they? It's that guy, right there. That's the one that shot me. Okay, let's try and bandage this up before I die. Okay, I'm not bleeding anymore. He really did not want to die. And I'm bleeding again. So I think my guy is just gonna run around screaming ash over and over now. I don't know why he's saying Ash, it's kind of weird to be honest. If you're gonna say shit, just say shit. You know what rattled so, man. Is that in that bush again? I don't know, but I'm in a really bad position. Can I go up here? Yes, okay, good. Let's see if I've just got arrested. Must be in that bush if they just arrested that guy, right? Yeah, there he is. There's probably another one down there somewhere. One up this way. There. Something throwing grenades up here that's really throwing my aim off. Ouch. Got massively clipped by that guy. But we can just respawn back here and uh, cause a bit more damage. Oh. I thought I was going to die when I fell off there. Let's get back on the road before I get shot. So there should have been a military response by now. Well, there was military guys there, but they might have already been in the town from last time. I need to go find myself their APC if they had one. Probably gonna steal this car too. So they probably came in like an MRAP or an APC. And I would like to repossess it. As mentioned, I'm not allowed to cheese them if there's any infantry in or around them. I have to take them out by legitimate means. I can only steal something that is completely unguarded. Or has been disabled. 
So really, the only time that a military vehicle is going to be fair game without me having to fight for it is if they just left it there. Although I may or may not have clipped the wall slightly and I'm now bleeding profusely from my noggin. So there's a pretty good chance I'm just going to bleed out soon. It's a shame I don't have like a tourniquet to put on my neck or something like that. Stop the bleeding, you know. Stop everything else while I'm at it because that's exactly what running this as medical module will do for you. Yeah, the soldiers must have been in here already. So I'm just going to pop out and shoot this guy. That's a level 1 vest, just... just to clarify. Well, let's see if the alarm's about to go off again. I really just want to drag the military out of the airbus. Oh, actually, maybe I could go to the airbus. Let's see what they've got. Oh, wait, no, there's a guy here. See, that's what should have happened. Let's take his gun. His vest as well. And his meds, that spare mag. Oh, his little buddy's coming. These optics are not my favorite. Okay, well, is there anybody else around? If there's reinforcements, it's most likely going to come from this direction, right? And there goes the alarm. So that should have triggered the response. Supposedly three soldiers left in this town. Just in total. I believe it's two soldiers that you need to get it down to before they start getting really quickly reinforced. Ooh, I've got grenades. Oh, that landed right on his feet. What the fuck? How did he survive that? Also, that's a civilian that's right next to it too. Okay, he's dead now. I think the civilian too, to be honest. To be honest, I kind of thought that I'd kill him, but never mind. I think I just killed another Civ. Oh no, that's okay. Just gonna drop that smoke on my feet, I guess. Yeah, there's tons of smokes. Is that guy in the street? Yeah. Go across the road as well. It's a good job I moved there as well because they just neared it at me. I hear a vehicle. Yeah, there we go. That's what I want. Not the grenades. I want the vehicle. Well, actually, yeah, I'll take the grenades. So now we just need them to dismount it. Leave it there for me. Ouch. Well, may as well die now. Am I still alive? Wait, did I actually get the guy in that bush? No, he's still alive. There we go. 
Let's see if I can get across this road. This will be the point if any that I die. Oh, where's that coming from? Back there still? I don't think grenades are working as intended right now. Yeah, wasn't a lot else that was going to happen at that point, was there? Okay, well, time to go inspect what happened with that armed vehicle. Yeah, it appears to just be gone. Hmm. What have I got here? Yeah, there's some bags here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some of the military gear. Hopefully without getting shot again. And then I'm just going to cart it off back to base. Hopefully I'll get a couple crypto keys off of the people just here. Now that's one thing I don't like, it just gets your weapon out automatically. You need to press zero for the ace interaction to put it away. So I'll take that bag. Oh, they already have bags on them. Never mind. This guy had a negative. They're playing Counter-Strike or something now. Alright, now I believe... Yeah, the tactical tablets are always in the inventories there. Yep, and we got a Crypto Key. Perfect. Alright, that wasn't much, but at least we got a Crypto Key. So I'm going to head off back to base, drop this stuff off, and I'll call it there for the time being, I think. So yeah, by the time this has gone up, you've probably already seen my live stream. You know, if you turned up for it. If you didn't, basically all I'll have done there is I'll have driven around some towns. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and locate as many police stations as possible. So next time we can go on a proper looting spree. That's interesting. I think that's some of the reinforcements for the town that I've just, you know... Got on a flat at random. But yeah, I'll get this stuff back to base, stick the crypto key in the radio hut, which I'll show you next time around. And we'll just go steal some shit. <laughs>